Hi, my name is Robert Mack, and today we'll be discussing how's the market, most specifically supply and demand. Hey, thanks for tuning back in. So if you're watching this video, it's probably late February, early March, and I just wanna kinda of talk a little bit about supply and demand and how it affects uh, buyers and sellers moving forward as we approach the spring and the summer selling season in Orange County. So. I'm sure everybody's heard of supply and demand, whether you've heard about the concept in high school or college or somewhere else. I mean, in a nutshell, the less of something that there is, generally the more valuable it becomes, right? So like, for example, if you're dealing with, if you like wine and you know, once the wine comes out, they have a lot of it, but as the vintage gets older and older and older, they have less and less and less. So when you get down to the last case, it's extremely expensive because there's very little left. And once it's done, it's gone. Now, this may not direct relate directly to the real estate market, but I'm trying to bring a point across is that when there's less of something, it's generally worth more to whoever out there is looking for it. Now, in relation to the real estate market, if you've been following my videos on a you know weekly or monthly basis, you know that inventory will slightly drop in November as we approach the holiday season, and then it'll stay low through, I would say, early February. So generally, in my experience, what we've seen is that inventory will begin to rise after Super Bowl Sunday. Not sure why that is, but that's where we see the graphs kind of increase when it comes to inventory. Inventory will rise in February, it will rise again in March, and then it'll continue to grow in April and significantly rise in May and June the summer selling season when everybody thinks it's the best time to sell a house when the reality is it's actually the best time to buy a house because there's more homes on the market. So as a seller, you want to sell your property when there's not a lot of competition, right? If you live on a street where five homes are available for sale, you've got to understand that when buyers are looking at your home and the other homes, they're gonna leverage those homes against each other, right? They're not only gonna look at each one as apples to apples to see which one's more upgraded, which one is in a better location, which one has a better feel to it, but they're also gonna say, well, hey, you know, if there's five homes on this block, we'll just offer X, you know, let's say 50,000 below asking price, and if we can't get it, we'll just go to the next person. Versus if you're the only house on that block and somebody wants to live in your neighborhood, your home is potentially worth more to that buyer or any other buyer looking because unfortunately, that's their only option. So if you're a seller and you're thinking about selling and the reason why I urge you to consider this information that I'm, I'm sharing is because I talk to a lot of people that say, you know, Robert, we are interested in selling, but we're not gonna list our home until spring or summertime. And that always raises some concerns for me Obviously, number one, I need to understand why they wanna wait, right? If there's a specific reason, then hey, maybe there's no way around it. But if they're just planning on listing in the spring or summer because they feel like that's a better time to sell, that's actually an incorrect strategy, which is why we always recommend you speak to a realtor the minute you have any thoughts of selling so you can put together your timeline moving forward. So if you're a seller and you're just waiting for the spring or summer market to come before you list, you may wanna to get together with a realtor and really understand what's going on in your micro market, right? There's an Orange County market, there's a market in your specific city, and then there are micro markets in your specific neighborhood, and every pocket in Orange County has different trends. So what you don't wanna do is wait to list your home, and then all of a sudden there's three or four or five other properties, it's gonna devalue your property. You wanna list when the market is has a low inventory and you don't have a lot of competition because what that'll do is that'll make sure there's more demand for your property and ultimately help you sell for top dollar. Now, as a buyer, you might say, well, Robert, if inventory is gonna start to grow in April, May, and June, why don't I just wait until then? Well, that's what a lot of people might be thinking. And that's there's nothing wrong with that approach. I do though, encourage you to stay on top of what's going on with the interest rates. Now, if you have a great lender that you've worked with, you've already been pre-approved, that lender should be sending you weekly updates in terms of where the interest rates are and where they're actually going. Because if the interest rates go up too high, no matter how, you know, no matter how many properties are available on one block, even if you get the property for a smoking hot deal, you might actually spend more money per month because of your interest rate. 
So that's something to consider. But the overall, my overall opinion of where we see the market going in the next two, three, four, five months is that we will slowly start to see the inventory of homes go up. And as that goes up, as those properties come on the market, buyers will have more options, which will lower the demand for your property and you may be leaving money on the table. Now, before I let you go, there's one more scenario. A lot of our clients are looking to sell their current property and buy something bigger or maybe buy something smaller. So actually getting together with a realtor now and figuring out what you want to do to sell your property will allow you to sell prior to the market inventory growing so you could sell for top dollar. But then as you close escrow and become a buyer, you're entering the season where inventory will grow and you'll have a lot more choices. So we find that the, the, the savvy sellers that we work with generally will list their homes in February, March or very early April so they can catch the market before it gets too active with, with homes for sale. And then as they close out, they can uh, buy a property and have a lot more choices and possibly even find a better deal. So I hope you found value in that today. If you know anybody looking to buy or sell and you think that by them watching this video, it might help them out a little bit, please share it with them. If you found this video on social media, give me a thumbs up, uh, leave a comment or a question. I'd love to engage with you. If you've got any specific situations you'd like to discuss with me, whether you're interested in buying a new home or selling a home or possibly investing in real estate, I'd love the opportunity to sit down with you and offer my opinion of what's going on so that you can find the best deal or get your home sold for the best price. And if you've got any topics you'd like me to discuss on video in the future, please send them my way. Until then, happy selling.